Hi there, have you ever wondered how to create a pile or a folder on Linux suffix with the current timestamp automatically? Well, you can actually use the date command, the Linux command line to achieve what you wanted. So if I normally have to create a folder, I use mkdir and you know what a folder I create, it's sort of hard code. But what if I want to create a folder with suffix with the current timestamp or the current date? So if I create a folder today, it'll have suffix of today's date or tomorrow, tomorrow's date and likewise. So you can actually use date command to solve this. Normally when you say date, it prints the current time in human readable format. But however, you can actually change the way the output format of date is printed. For example, you could say date and you can use plus sign, the plus symbol, followed by this. You can use quotes if you believe that there are some special characters that might get escaped by the shell, but otherwise you can use it as these without quotes. I can say date plus and I can just say percentage Capital Y will just just print the current year. Now, if we just use uh, maybe forward slash person date small m, the month, and I can just say slash d, the date. Of course, when you want to have a suffix for a folder, you don't want to have forward slash in them. So maybe you can use a shorthand for this. Would be person date capital F will print the actual date in this particular format. Four digit year, two digit month, two digit d, the current date. You can also suffix a timestamp by using uh, maybe I'll put a capital T to separate the timestamp, the actual time, right, from the date by using P and say percentage T. And now we can see the output comes up in this particular format, which has the year, month, day with a T, then hours, minutes, and seconds. So now let's say I want to create a folder with this suffix. It's quite convenient. Just use date as folder, hyphen, right? Will give you this output all you need to do is feed it as the argument to mkdr by using command substitution so if you're using bash or ksh or any modern shells you could actually use mkdr dollar parenthesis to this to, to achieve this which is i feel more convenient and more readable now if you just look it up just say ls you can see a folder called test folder with the current time suffix if all you are using an older shell like uh, C shell or TCSH, it's not really older. It's the alternative shell that you find on some Linuxes or BSDs, BSD platform. You could actually use backticks instead when dollar parenthesis won't work, not work and you still get the same output. Just because you can see there's a some, some time lapse between the earlier command execution and the current command execution, the seconds has changed. So you can see two different folders are created. You can also create a file the same way by simply using, maybe I just say echo s file greater than date and I can just use plus test data hyphen. I'll just use the same thing. I'll say percentage, I'll say uh, percentage capital F and uh, or this time I'll use percentage Y, percentage M, percentage D. Followed by capital T, percentage H, percentage capital M, percentage capital S, dot log. And when you run this, you could see there's a file with this kind of suffix. Mm, yeah, where is that? Okay. I don't see it. Okay, I got it. LS again. Oh, did I run this? Oh, you know what? I actually use greater than date plus something. So it actually made a mistake. It created a file called date and this got edited you know what the mistake is right you need to put up backticks close backticks or use dollar parenthesis silly mistake so if you just output update command must be substituted in place here so when you run it now you can see there's a file called test data hyphen year month day timestamp followed by hours minutes and seconds without any special characters or sp special characters or colons in between you can customize the date output the way you want you know how are the different formats available just use date minus minus help and you can use your favorite pager maybe less in this case and actually less is connected as more or alias as more in my machine most actually sorry most in my machine but anyways you can use your pager and you can have a look into it all of these are the format controls that you can use so it gives you a lot of flexibility in deciding exactly what date and time component you want to use for formulating the suffix so i hope you found this video useful so do comment if you have any questions or queries in relation to this thank you very much hope to meet you in future video sessions